I thought this might be of interest to some of you on how these uh, fasteners hold up when uh, they're used in a building project like I have. Now what you can get are, uh, th these are commonly called grabber screws and they they look like that. And they're they're uh, usually gold colored and uh, then you get these other ones that are coated. Now usually these are sold uh, to make you know they're advertised that you're going to build a deck or a porch or something something outdoors and then there's another color here now let me show you something here these all of these except this one I think no all of these were pulled out of the greenhouse that I was disassembling here uh, a few weeks ago and I thought you might be interested to see how they hold up now these gold ones these ones that are un, un uh, uncoated or they're not protected uh, again, this is a brand new one, and this is an old one. This is one I pulled out of the greenhouse. Now, they they look they get rusty like this, and that's really not a big deal. But some of them got a lot worse looking than this. They look pretty bad, and uh, maybe I can even find a better example of one here. Uh, well, maybe not. But they look they can look pretty bad. Now, as long as when I took them out, they were in an area that was dry all the time. In other words, up high off the ground and, you know, wasn't wet all the time. This is as bad as they ever got. A lot of them came out, you know, looking, well, here's one right here. Oh, uh, well, I don't know, let's see, that's an old one. No, nope. a lot, oh, here's one right here. A lot of them came out looking fairly good. Yeah, let's see if we got one here. Nope, I don't have one here, but... A lot of them come out looking fairly good, pretty much like this, at worst like this maybe, you know, but even that's okay. That's reusable if you want to have a little hobby project. But the interesting thing is, these kind that are coated, this one came out of the greenhouse. And uh, I, I, can't, I don't remember where, whether it was in a dry place or a wet place. It didn't seem to matter. These held up. Uh, and you know this one came out of the greenhouse too. These held up no matter where they were put, uh, and they they didn't uh, uh, corrode very much at all. Another again, here's another one that came out of there. Now you might say, well, that corroded because down here at the bottom you can see there's a little bit of uh, uh, the coating is gone. Maybe this was underwater, but as you can see, these. If you're going to be in a weather environment, these are worth it because they hold up a lot longer. Now, how long were these in the ground or wherever they were? About seven years. So in seven years, these nice shiny gold ones turned to that. And like I said, there was worse than this. And in seven years, this is the worst of these kind. It just got a little bit of this stuff off of here. <clears throat> And here's an yeah, here's another one. yeah, here we go. Here's a better example of if you put one of those gold ones under where it gets wet a lot, you know, and it wasn't necessarily underwater, just where it gets wet and dries, they rot out, you know, quite a bit. And if you keep them very, very dry, they do pretty good. But if they're wet or and dry, wet and dry, like in a greenhouse, if you put them to fasten some boards together. And let's say you have a sprinkler, and the sprinkler gets the boards wet, and then it dries out. And then the sprinkler gets the boards wet, and then it dries out. This is what's going to happen to them. And, uh, you know, they do deteriorate. These don't. This is what happens to those if they're in a place where they're constantly watered. Uh, these hold. So, bottom line is these cost a little bit more. And uh, they also usually have this uh, T-head here. It's a lot easier to use. You, you don't, don't have, have to, to push, push very hard to drive, drive these in. See, they have a, uh, a, a driver that looks like this. And it, what it does is it fits right in there. And you don't have to push very hard. You push a little bit, and it'll stay engaged. And it's much easier to drive these in when you're driving it with force uh, than one of these. This is a standard Phillips head. And they work okay, but they, they tend to uh, be a little harder to drive in if you're driving it. You know, I have a long, a big screw here that you're driving in, and you've got to drive it in with some force. You really have to lean into it to make sure that the 
bit doesn't hop and jump out of there. And then you have to replace the bits a lot. And usually these come free with uh, when you buy a box of these kind. So these work out better. I thought you might like to see what happens to some of these screws when you use them in a project and how, they, how well they hold up or don't hold up. So I hope that was helpful. Anyway, getting back to building now.